What is Markdown? Markdown is a markup language like LaTeX, XML, or HTML, which you're probably familiar with. As Wikipedia explains, a markup language is a system for annotating a document in a way that is syntactically distinguishable from the text. What does that mean, syntactically distinguishable? Well, if we look at a comparison of Markdown and HTML provided by Wikipedia's Markdown page, we see that with HTML, it is very easy to distinguish the tags from the text. And this is a very powerful system. It allows HTML to interact with other languages such as JavaScript or CSS. It allows HTML to produce dynamic web pages and web applications, right? The tagging system that HTML uses is very powerful, yet it's also a very uh, difficult environment to write within. It doesn't look like what we expect a written page to look like while we're working within it. Now, certainly this is a more uh, complicated page that's more finished, but uh, nonetheless, the, it remains the same, right? That it's very difficult to write within HTML for a multimodal document. So there's now there are plenty of people who are comfortable with this, that are comfortable with HTML and writing within HTML, and there's nothing wrong with that. But for many of us and many people who are still relatively new to web design, something closer to a WYSIWYG is what we're used to writing within. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get, WYSIWYG. So that usually means something like Office, Microsoft Office, or in this case, LibreOffice, or some other word processor like Google Docs, where while you're writing, the actual, what you see on the screen is very close to the final document or the final thing that you will produce. So this is very comfortable for writing, but it's not very powerful for adding inline text or code or tags or things of that nature. So Markdown attempts to be a compromise between the two, where on one end you have HTML tags and all the power that is provided by that as one example on the far extreme, and on the other you have the full WYSIWYG environment where what you see is what you get. With Markdown, as you can see here on the left, the tagging is still very readable. It's still a writer-friendly environment, yet you get things like the ability to put an inline link in text or to put the formatting uh, for italics or strike through or uh, changing the font in text, right? And, but, and what you see over here on the right-hand side, while cleaner and rendered in uh, what it would look like if the HTML was put directly in a browser, it is not all that different from the markdown over here on the left side. If we go to daringfireball.net, the site owned by John Gruber, the original creator of Markdown, we see that this was his original design intention in creating Markdown. As he explains on his site, the overriding design goal for Markdown's formatting syntax is to make it as readable as possible. The idea is that a Markdown formatted document should be publishable as is, as plain text without looking like it's been marked up with tags or formatting instructions. And as he explains at the last part of the paragraph, the single biggest source of inspiration for Markdown syntax is the format of the plain text email. So you're probably thinking, how powerful can it be for something that's meant to just look like a plain text document or an email for web design or the creation of a web text? Well, that's what this website will uh, try to show you. Uh, on the resources page, there'll be a full range of resources for everything from showing how to basically learn Markdown or get involved to other things to using Markdown to create full web texts, websites, blogs. Uh, Markdown is actually very powerful once you add it with other conversion tools, but at the, outside, out, at the outset, it's meant to be a very approachable way to learn markup in a way that takes the writer's influence to account, right? Someone who cares about a writerly environment while they're coding. That is what Markdown is meant to do. So this website is also an application. At any point in time, you can click on Try Markdown and actually edit markdown on the left side and it will change on the right side. So you can delete all of this text here and just play with markdown yourself. Whatever uh, markdown you type on the left will get rendered on the right. 
can add a little bit of bold. And you see it renders automatically on the right. So this web text provides a way to, for you to actually actively learn Markdown while you're here. You can click Markdown Help if you forgot some of the formatting instructions. And of course, at any time, if you want, you can come back again and the original text that was there will be available for you to look at. So thank you for visiting this site and I hope it's useful. Good luck.